Hello, everybody. Thank you so much to Melissa Ponzio for joining us today. Thank you for having me. It's great to have you here. And since we're great fans of, of, of the shows you starred in, uh, it's a pleasure for us to, to discuss them with you. <laughs> Thank you. Me as well. Thank you very much. So uh, tell us a bit, throwing back to the origins um, of your career as an actress, uh, how did the passion for acting come about in your life? Tell us a bit. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I think I got my passion from acting from my mother. She was a model and an actress when she was younger. And for a time, um, she was a single parent and it was just her and I. And she encouraged me to use my um, creativity and my imagination because we had to make up a, a fantasy world because we couldn't go out to the movies and to a lot of places. And so she really kind of helped me get inside myself and create characters and create different places to go when we would talk about how we were in Bora Bora and we would be in our own living room wrapped up in towels. It was just, it was just a lot of fun. And so as I grew older, you know, my passion grew into something that maybe it, I could have a career and um, my, my family and my parents and my friends, they have always been very um, encouraging. And I started to try to act after college and it just kind of took off. And I did very, very super small jobs and it took a long time. Some people, when they start acting, it's like, pew, and they just reach the top. Mine's much been more like this, very slow and steady. And then all of a sudden, like, whoop, Teen Wolf. <laughs> and among all the roles you played so far, um, in your opinion, what's been the one that helped you grow the most as an actor? You know, most actors are, we're lucky enough maybe to have one episode, two episodes of a show, right? Yeah. It's, we're very lucky if we're able to have longevity on a show. And so for me, both Teen Wolf and Chicago Fire have allowed me a, as an actor and as a creative person to have a full life on screen. And so when you're able to kind of have two different projects that you have two different full different lives, Um, I, I feel like I have grown and learned um, from participating in both of these shows and being part of two tremendously supportive casts. Absolutely. And, and that's, I think, the, the, the most beautiful thing for an actor to also have a, a great cast that supports you during, during the whole work and, and the creation of a show. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because, you know, on Teen Wolf... Most of us had been there since the first episode. So we were the old school, right? And so yeah. we would welcome people in. On Chicago Fire, you know, I was coming into an already established cast, but everybody was so warm and welcoming. And they accepted um, Eamon and I as a couple on the show and really supported us as a family, as you know, as we grew um, older with, with Terrence. And so it was, it, both experiences have been amazing. Absolutely. And um, still among the roles you played so far, which is, in your opinion, that which of the characters um, is the, mo the closest to you in real life, in your opinion? It would have to be Mama McCall on Teen Wolf. <laughs> you know, outside of Chicago Fire, you know, being, being married and having a child and, and all of that, that was a different experience because I didn't have that experience in real life. Yeah. But um, as far as Mama McCall, you know, I am, I am a mom. I'm a stepmom in real life. I feel like I'm a caretaker. Tear, caretaker. <laughs> I feel like I listen very well. I feel like I'm a supportive person. And so, you know, her values and morals align a lot with mine in real life. Yeah, and that's amazing, I think. Also, to, to work on, on differences with characters, but also with similarities. Yes, yes, absolutely. And as you mentioned, one of the roles that the, the audience loved the most among the ones you played is Mama McCall, Melissa mm -hmm. McCall. Yes. Teen Wolf. And how would you describe your experience working on, on Teen Wolf with that character? Well, it's... It's amazing because she was very, she's very solid, very steadfast, right? You know what you're going to get with Mama McCall. She's going to be supportive, loving, kind. She's going to come to your rescue. And it's really interesting. Some people like to play characters 
that are crazy, that are good one week and bad one week, that, you know, like uh, switch allegiances. Um, but for me, it's very, it was very calming to be able to come in and to work knowing, knowing who she was. You know, there wasn't going to be much surprise. So I could step into those shoes and, and really be this character um, and be a human that is doing extraordinary things. You know, a lot of people ask, you know, you know, on, on, a, uh, on a show that has a lot of mythology, would you want to be a werewolf? Would you want to be a monster or a creature? And for me, being human on this show was very important to have the attributes of a, a, a person that could to, to be a hero in, in real skin. Yes, and, and that's been the, the, she's been the constant in the show and within the, her her family and such. And for her being, it, it's her, it's her gift being human, but also being such a superhero. Right. See, with, with JR, with Argent, he was kind of introduced as one type of character. And then he kind of had a turn within his character, Absolutely. right? Against werewolves and yeah. then four. But both, both um, Lyndon and I, both in our characters with, um, you know, Sheriff Stalinsky and, and, and Mama McCall, we were, we've kind of been the North Stars. We've always been the constant for our children. We've always been supportive and there and, and putting them first, you know? Yes. Um, and so I think that, that that's a, a really beautiful thing to have been a part of. Absolutely. And we left her definitely in a good place in the Teen Wolf series finale and teaming up with the McCall pack and starting off her relationship with Chris Argent. And how is it like for you to build these relationships, the mother and son relationship with Tyler Posey and the couple dynamics with JR? Well, what's really great is that, you know, we had so much time on the show together that the, the friendships and the working relationships were very organic and we were able to bring those qualities into our characters. Um, and it was really great because, you know, a lot of the cast was so young when we started, they were, you know, Tyler was 18, yeah. you know, Dylan was 18. And, and so, That's impressive. And as show, yeah, as the show went on, they were literally growing up. And so even in that short time frame, even the working relationship and the friendship grew and changed. And, you know, and, and for JR and, and Lyndon and Edie and, and all of the parents, the, the people that were a little bit gro more grown, um, you know, those relationships just got deeper and richer. And we were able to put that into our characters as well. And hopefully people, people saw that, you know, we, yeah. it's just an organic experience that I think comes along when you're having lunch and really asking about how everyone's family is and, and you birthdays and, and special occasions and the changing of the seasons when you have all of that, um, you know, births and deaths and, and it just makes every everything a little bit more richer when you're working with someone when you know those things when you see them absolutely and I think that one of the things that also people love the most about Teen Wolf outside of supernatural elements and um, the werewolves and uh, vampires and other stuff other supernatural elements is the relationship between the characters, the way the characters also talk with each other and the dynamics between them. And also the, the, the dynamic between you actors is also very, very loved by fans um, in general for the show. Well, thank you. I think, um, you know, Jeff Davis and the entire writer's room, I think they concentrate on having real dialogue and real relationships and, and we're not, we're not just filling the scenes with uh, what we refer to as take a meeting, you know, two people just kind of talking to move the story along. I don't think that there's much of that. I think if it's in there, it's important. And, um, and, and yeah, and, 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 and that's, that's a very adult theme that's been brought to when we started out more of a young adult show. And so yeah. I'm glad that the audience has come along and it's not just, you know, let's shoot some bad guys and have a talk over here in the office. You know, it means it's a little bit more deeper and spiritual and more more meaningful. Yeah. And, and now after some years, um, after the series finale in gen in January is coming out um, a movie. Yes. A movie. And yes, we're very you, excited. What can, you, what can you tease about it? And what's next for, for Melissa? Ah, well, it's set a little bit in the future. So we've had some time that has passed. 
So all of our characters have gone and had some experience during this time. And so we're catching up with them. So we're, we're, we're seeing everybody in a new place, right? People have had new jobs, new relationships, loves that have been lost, loves that are found, those kinds of things. Um, and I think it's really interesting to, I think we all have this experience in life where maybe we know someone from junior high school yeah, or someone from high school or college and time, time goes by and then we see them and we're right back where we were, right? We're able to grab on to who we were those years ago and have that instant connection, an instant spark of, of, of helping or, or, um, you know, knowing, knowing each other in a way that, you know, things don't even need to be said. And I think that even though e each one of these characters have had growth, we have that as well. Because when we're all called to arms, you know, when we're all asked to show up and be heroic, we all do because we all have had our characters, a hundred episodes <laughs> of, of communication and, and working together, working against each other. And so all of that has been brought into the movie as well. And so I think it's, I think it'll be an interesting experience because I think people that have loved Teen Wolf as a TV series or maybe haven't seen any of it, I think they, they will still enjoy the movie and, and see something in it that they like. That's beautiful. I, I really, I'm really looking forward to watch it since I've been such a, such a fan of the show and many years have passed. And this thing that the, a movie is coming out, it, it really creates memories and, and feelings about it. And it will be great. Us too. We're very excited. When we got the call, we were all very excited to know that our characters were going to get a chance to, to live again, so to speak. Yeah. And relating to that, how is it like for you to, to be back on set with all these familiar faces and new faces as well? So it was like we never left because when we started shooting the movie, we actually shot out in Los Angeles for a couple of days, maybe a week yeah. on stages that were still there. So the McCall house was still there. The sheriff's office was still there. The hospital was still there. So we were literally walking right back into these environments that we had so many years ago. And then the whole production came here to Atlanta. I'm in Atlanta right now. And we were able to um, work together in a way that how it started because in season one and season two, we shot here in Atlanta. Oh. And so it was, it was a lot of fun to be able to be in Los Angeles with cast and crew and then come here to Atlanta to be with cast and crew. And I think that the audience will love all of our, all of our new actors. And I think they'll love, I hope they love how our writers and Jeff were able to pull from the legacy of those 100 episodes to make a movie you know, to, to take bits and pieces and, and concepts and, and make it into something um, new and fresh and fun. Yeah, because it's also an important step to take um, a series that's already wrapped into, yes. into a movie and like create a continuation after all the storylines uh, have been uh, closed and, and they have an ending. Right. It's very, it's, that, that's a very um, good uh, point that you bring up is you have all these riches, right? Yeah. You have all these characters and these storylines and these environments and this history. And, and now that it's a movie, you can use all of it. It's not just telling a linear story like the, the TV show kind of had to keep yeah. going like this. The movie can kind of go like this and pull from different places and different people and things. And so that's that to me is what's really exciting. Absolutely. And um a fun question that we always ask to the people we're interviewing and considering we're talking about Teen Wolf right now, it's on the Teen Wolf uh, universe. If you had to choose a character among all the characters on Teen Wolf, apart from Melissa, um, a character that you would have loved to play if you could, which one would it be and why? So I always joke and I always say Greenberg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just a little inside joke for everybody but um along those lines I've always thought that coach was a very interesting character yes you know he's always the one that's bringing the funny he's he's always very sardonic um you know and also just to be 
you know, the high, you know, the school coach, you know, there's some, there's a legacy behind that, that I think is fun. And, and you're able to connect with kids on a way that maybe you can't as a parent, you know, you're like, you're like a, you're like an older buddy of sorts. And yeah. so that that's the character that I would, I would choose. And it's not always the, 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 the traditional humor that he brings right. in. <laughs> and that's, that's right. the beauty of the character. So I, I feel what you're saying. Absolutely.